What is going on beautiful people? Chris coming to you with another one of my uh, daily vlogs. Day three. Holy crap, three days in a row. Are you kidding me? Is this really happening? It's happening guys, but hey, thank you guys once again for watching. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I think I'll start my day, my uh, vlogs off sort of like that every time. Just saying thank you because I appreciate everybody. So I'm going to fix this a little bit. Stand up for a while. Um, uh, today. Today has been uh, an interesting day, guys. Got up about 4.45 this morning and didn't do anything. I was up, though. That's the key. I said I'm going to wake up every day. Uh, man, it's just been crazy. I'm sure wherever uh, you're watching this, you guys are familiar with all of the um, flus and coughs and colds that are going around. Well, I feel like... Yesterday I felt like I had a little scratch in my throat. This morning I woke up, just just not feeling great. But uh, got up and uh, got to it. Just uh, just didn't go to the gym early. Um, <clears throat> had a cup of coffee. Just uh, sat down here and and uh, tried to be quiet, not wake anybody. Watched a little bit of sporting news and uh, <coughs> excuse me and uh, started my day. Um, dropped my daughter off at school. And had a great day at work today. It was a beautiful Carolina, beautiful Carolina day. It was maybe uh, the high was like 61 today, but the sun was shining. It was gorgeous. So um, I hope wherever you're watching this, you guys had as beautiful or half as beautiful of a day that we had today. So um, once again, guys, comments are great. Love reading them. Um, getting some great advice from some people. I love it. Um, Yesterday, I wanted it. I wanted it. I, sh I should have touched on this yesterday, but I just kind of talked and talked and just you know did my thing. But today, I want to go over uh, something that I, I heard. Um, if you remember, I was telling you I went to Georgia, I took on this role, and then um, we just weren't happy, so I resigned and uh, came back to Carolina. So, oddly enough, uh, that was on. I believe it was on a Thursday. It was on a Thursday. That Sunday, uh, we went to church. And one of the great things about the George area is there's this little church that we went to, and it was just, I, I wish we could take it and put it here. It was awesome. Um, <clears throat> the pastor was given a, a sermon, and it hit home. So I was talking to you guys, and um, I, I forget, I think maybe it was Sheila. She was talking about her and her husband have been married for 38, going on 39 years, and uh, he works all the time. So here's something that uh, that uh, that I heard that really is just an amazing, amazing uh, analogy, if you will. And uh, it's pretty cool. So if you think back to like when we were younger and the first time like you were introduced to those little bouncy, super bouncy balls, right? It's like the greatest thing you can ever have. This little ball, it's probably, it was probably a penny when I was a kid. If I were to see a bouncy ball today, I'd grab it and play with it. And so would you. It's just, there's just something about it. But you know, the thing bounces all over the ball. I think they were called like crazy balls, whatever. Bounces all over the place, goes here, goes there. Next thing you know, it's gone. You lose it. You never see that ball again. So if you think of having a jar full of those bouncy balls and every time you want to play with one you grab one you bounce it bounce it bounce it you lose it you go get another one who cares you still got all these balls still in there so you, there i am with my balls again don't get me started on my balls bounce those before you know it that jar starts to dwindle away you keep playing keep going keep bouncing those balls well that last ball is sitting there staring at you. What are you going to do? You're going to grab it. You're going to play with it. Ball is gone. Now you don't have any more balls left. That jar of balls, if you think of it as time, um, once it's gone, it's gone. You can't get it back. So <clears throat> the pastor was saying how every, uh, every time he goes to um, read someone's last rites, or speaks with somebody on their death, deathbed. Um, they all say the same thing. And he's been a pastor for a while. And he said that he cannot recall anybody saying anything other 
then something to the effect of these words. Um, when you'd ask if there's anything that you can change or any regrets or whatever in your life, most of the time everybody will say, no, not really. Um, there's one thing that everybody says they wish they had. It's not a bigger house. It's not a, a fancier car. It's nothing materialistic. 99.9.99999% of the time, everybody says the same thing. I just wish I had more time. So to go back to what we were speaking on yesterday, guys, make the best of that bouncy ball while it lasts. Make the best of the time that we have right now while it lasts. Um, because once it's gone, it's gone and you can't get it back. So it, it's so important and it, I, it's, it's just amazing to me because um, we don't go to church. I don't, I don't go to church all the time. Uh, there's these few times that you do go and it seems like, hey, they're talking right to me. It makes all the sense in the world. But the timing of hearing this story or this analogy was fantastic. Um, holy crap. I just looked at my wife, she looked at me, and we were like, there it is, there it is. So I never second guessed or uh, questioned if what I were, was doing, uh, leaving this job that was, you know, this company that was um, financially a great position for me. Um, and um, I never, never looked back. Um, and that was just some assurance to, hey, Chris, you made the right choice because you need this time. Once again, guys, I worked a full day today. I was home uh, by 2 o'clock. I worked, uh, I started about 8.30 today. Uh-oh. Oh, it just took a picture. This camera is too friggin' weird with all these hand gestures. So guys, bear with me. So I I paused for a second because I there's that squirrel ADHD, right? Um, <clears throat> I saw like some of the comments on that too, and uh, I appreciate <laughs> uh, um, people's diagnosis on that uh, towards me. So <laughs> it made me laugh. But hey, um, I finished. I had uh, eight o'clock. I had a, a call. 9 o'clock I had a call, 10 o'clock I had a call, 11 o'clock I had a call, um, and by 12 o'clock my day was done. With the exception of tonight after I film this I have to do a couple of things on the computer, but it's it's done. My day's over. I went to the gym. I didn't go first thing this morning, only went once today. Um, so, went to the gym, had a great workout. I was banging down vitamin C's, man. I put the tablets in my water, drank vitamin C is like crazy got me through the day I'm still feeling a little blah uh, I broke my fast at two o'clock today um, I had a protein shake and I had a, a, a poke bowl it's like like I said the other night one of my favorite things I love this poke bowl um, spicy chicken rice veggies a little bit of this pokey sauce and boom I love it love it can eat it every day so uh, came home <clears throat> did a little bit on the computer, took like a 15 minute power nap, got up, and here we are. So, uh, guys, I just, I think that is so powerful. Touched me. Um, it, I, I just took it to heart when I heard that. So, I, I think it's so cool. And uh, when I was at my mom's um, <clears throat> 80th birthday party not too long ago, um, my poor sweet mom she's she she doesn't even remember that we were there um, but it was a beautiful occasion and uh, I saw people gosh that I haven't seen in forever um, my family all my family that lost uh, my, my cousins that lost their husbands brother son from COVID it's the first time we've all been together um, so it was a special day and uh, just before we sang happy birthday to my mom, I took a minute out to talk about that and tell that story and just, yeah, it's, it's powerful. It's so powerful. It's probably one of the best, uh, analogies that I've ever heard. So, um, I hope, I hope it helps you too. So 
Guys, I'm at 10 minutes. I'm going to make this a quick one. So um, I'm going to cut out here. Like I said, I'm not feeling 100%, but I just wanted to bring it to you. Um, I hope that this video finds you happy, safe, and healthy, guys. Uh, tomorrow, uh, it's Friday. Um, so kind of keep an eye out. What I'll probably do is shoot, uh, do one of these in a live. Um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give some notice, schedule it. But I don't really schedule this stuff right now because I don't know what I'm doing. and what... I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it right now. So if it all works out and it's, it seems like this is going to be a good thing, uh, I know it's good for me. Um, it, it's helping me. It's helping me motivate myself. You're helping me motivate me. So thank you for that because you're giving me an opportunity to come and talk and BS with you for a bit. And uh, it's cool. So I hope this video, once again, finds you happy, safe, and healthy, guys. Uh, I hope you take today. Bend it over once again. Kick it in the ass. Say thank you for this great day. And I can't wait for tomorrow because... We got to make tomorrow better than today. I don't know how we could possibly do it because today was so awesome. Um, but I promise you, we're going to do my best. So, guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. Deuces.